So here's a uh, really quick video of this um, buck tool uh, four by six um, belt disc sander I just got. So this is like gonna be mostly a really quick unboxing video. Well, I already unboxed it, so I cheated. So anyway, so I just got this guy and I just literally just opened it in my kitchen and I'm taking a look at it. So I needed a sander, um, mostly for cleaning up uh, tube and various things that I cut and other little sanding things. I thought about getting one of those um, Harbor Freight flat models or I also looked at one of the slightly better ones, the ones with a cast base. And those just seem I went to Menards and I tried one of them out and they just seemed really chintzy and uh, really weak. They only have about a third horsepower motor and don't, don't seem really well made at all. So I found this one on Amazon. So as you guys can tell, this is a direct drive one and this was about 150 bucks. So um, definitely a little bit more than the Harbor Freight. Um, the Harbor Freight um, flat uh, combo belt sander is like 75 bucks. Then the Ryobi one is like 100 bucks. Then this one is 150. So what's the difference? Well, the big difference is, is this one is a direct drive, whereas the other ones have go through a belt and you lose a good bit of power going through the belt drive. Then the other thing is, is this guy is a, they claim it's a three quarter horsepower motor, whereas the other one's usually only about a third horsepower. So, so there are a lot of other really great videos looking at the other ones and they just put a block of wood on there and the other, the flat kind, they just bog right down. And because I work mostly in aluminum and steel, I need something a bit stronger. So overall initial impressions on this one is it seems really nice. It's a cast aluminum housing, um, solid metal um, top part. Um, let's see, most of it is, the base is cast aluminum. This guy, the arm thing, the upper part of it is stamped steel. What's nice is this um, main uh, little adjusting thingy or um, whatever that be. That's cast aluminum. The cable is cast aluminum. This whole housing thing there is cast. Um, you unlock this nut and this thing, the belt bit flips up and down. So let's hear it run. So what impresses me about this one is this one is a lot quieter than the horizontal flat um, belt driven style. It's a lot quieter and it's smooth. I mean, this thing is basically no vibration at all. So it's well balanced and um, if you notice, I shut it off. I mean, this thing takes a good, um, I don't know, 20 seconds or so to slow down. So that means there's relatively little friction go, um, involved in the, because of the direct drive. Whereas the, the horizontal flat kinds that go through a belt, um, you shut those guys off and those basically stop like essentially right away. So overall impressions, I have not used it yet, but it seems um, really positive. It's actually, uh, lock this dude down. It's um, surprisingly solid. Um, this is nice that it's all cast there. Uh, this has a, 
that little cover thing, it's a little plasticky cover guard. So that's all right. Um, you loosen, there's an Allen um, screw there. You loosen this guy up and this thing flips up and down. This is also cast aluminum, this uh, piece there. And then this table on screws and you can screw it in here. I don't think I will be using the disc much for anything. Um, not really sure why you'd need the disc when you have the belt. I mean, unless maybe you wanna run it slower sitting in the middle. Um, but anyway, my initial, I mean, observations of this thing is quality seems pretty damn decent. Um, I would say if you're looking for a belt sander based on my initial five minute observations, um, this one, it's definitely the way to go.